I just haven't like had a lot of motivation to kind of do really anything which is fine I'm just taking a real chill day but I'm gonna try to do this painting and see what happens it's just a test piece I've been working on it's gonna be something like this just better <laughs> it's another scripture verse that I'm doing for one of my cousins and then I'm also going to try to finish this this was another option and then doing some doing the scripture verse down here this is ink though this is um it's a little different than the watercolor I'm working on editing a little tour video of my uh storage over here I'm using it more as an opportunity to just try doing a like a shorter video format and just practicing my editing skills and seeing what I can do with it. Surprisingly, I just use iMovie to edit my videos, <laughs> but as like I, I keep learning a lot um, and I'm learning that there is like it's capable of doing some nice stuff. So just messing around with that and getting to know it and that'll be a fun project. <laughs> so. But yeah, I'm going to start working on this and I'll catch up with you. Shh, I'm going to talk. I'm doing the talking. I said be quiet. I'm sitting with mommy. But yesterday I got tons of stuff done. And I am a list maker. I love to have a little journal with all my stuff in it that I need to do or that I would like to do. Today's not the day to do everything. Still haven't gotten out of pajamas. I am going to go play some Animal Crossing and try to ignore these whiny brats for as long as possible. Uh, fun news. I finished these. I was kind of going through my art drawer and I saw that I had these little cards already cut out and I was like oh it'd be really fun to just mess around and and just play with them um and play with some ideas and I like these I was like these will be really cute little note cards that I can leave or hand out to people or something or if someone comes over I can just be like you want these that's like something I absolutely love doing is when people come over and they kind of get to see my space for the first time and they're always like, wow, like you make a lot of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, you can just have that. And they're always like, what? And then that gets into a whole conversation about how I underappreciate my art and the time and effort that it may takes to make stuff and how people should be paying me money for it. We won't worry about that today though. I should have filmed me drawing the cards, but I can't think about it. I had a long day. I went for a hike that was supposed to be like 30 minutes and it ended up being like two hours. <laughs> so I'm a little tired. it looks good but I'm wondering if I'll actually wear this because I don't own too many like high-waisted things um, so I'm trying to figure that out so we'll see um, I think I'm just gonna do a couple more rows for the hem call it a day cast it off baby and try to be brave and embrace wearing new clothes and trusting myself <laughs> well for you. Uh, for me, lots of stuff has been happening. A lot of, uh, a lot of personal stuff and then also a lot of just normal stuff. So it's life. It's going, it's moving, it's grooving. But today is like a great day. <laughs> At least I'm feeling really good. Um, 
I'm feeling very creative. I'm feeling like I have energy. I really want to tackle a lot of projects. Probably going to be doing a lot of sewing today. Um, I wanted to update you on my shifty, which is I'm getting so close to casting off the hem. And I just tried it on earlier today. I think I'm really liking the fit. I, I didn't think I was going to want it to be so cropped, but I like it. I So I'm going for it. And I can always just save the yarn, obviously, and if I end up just not wearing it very much because it's cropped, I can always go back and add a couple more inches to the body. It's not that big of a deal. So, I'm going to move forward with it. <laughs> I am going to, I still have, I want to add a couple more rows to the hem, um, which I will do. And then I will do the long arduous tubular bind off because it'll make this garment look beautiful and then I do have some other knitting projects that I kind of need to get started on because I will be traveling home for uh, the 4th of July so I need like some easy projects and I have some wash rags that I'm going to make for a friend so that's on the docket but yeah I'm going to catch up with you a little later I'll see you in a bit So let me preface. <laughs> um, I went through all of my fabric stash since I'm moving. So I purged a whole bunch of different fabrics that I just don't need and they were donated. And I decided to go ahead and just cut all of my fabric that needed to be cut. And um, I have it set up to make a couple of bags and other little projects just to, just to use it up. So I'm going to try and finishing up those projects. I finished this last night, which is a really simple little bunting. It's very cute. Um, I have nowhere to hang it right now. Like I said, I'm moving out of this apartment. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but maybe someone will have a baby and I can give it to them. <laughs>
I've always eyeballed corners and it is not something I suggest that you do. I suggest that you measure your corners. Don't free wing it like me. I just get lucky. That's it. There's nothing else to it. This is just an experimental bag to kind of remind me of how all of this is made. getting there. I did forget to add this little hole. I always do that. Um, so that way you can turn the bag inside out. I'm actually really liking this bag. I think it's super adorable. And I do wish I opted for a little bit nicer lining and not this <laughs> pretty cheapy one. Mm, come on, look at this guy. He's so cute. I don't know why. I don't need this for anything. But he's adorable. Oh man, I always forget how fun and fast and easy these are to make. So this is going to be a drawstring bag, so all I have to do is feed a little oil something through the top. Actually, let me see what I have. I have quite a nice stash, which I think I left in here. Yeah. I got rid of the yellow. But we're just going to use this. It's almost like a perfect match. Although I do wish I had a little yellow. That would be really cute. If I had something that's yellow. And just like that. A little drawstring. So easy. So cute. So tiny. Trim those just a little bit. And I mean granted I didn't cut out the fabric today. But took me like 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes to put together, to assemble. a bit even though like at the same time it doesn't really feel like it because I just basically sat in this chair all day um, so now I'm going to take care of these children mm -hmm. but here are the finished bags so this is the second one that I made it's Gudetama my favorite Sanrio character um, little simple again just I really like the drawstring I like I just my jam. I really like it. Um, so again, these were just scraps that I wanted to use up. This is a nice canvas. I lined this one. I just had some spare linen. So that's what's on the inside. And then uh, you all saw the little bear bag, which is very cute. These will make great gifts or things like that in the future. Um, or they'll just be fun to have on hand if I ever need a little tiny bag to help me, help me out. What I was going to say, this did kind of inspire me. I think I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to make one of these. They're pretty simple. If you ever first sewn anything, they're very easy to improvise and they're very easy to build on. So just knowing sort of these basics of a little boxed corner bag can take you pretty far. And you could make something really nice. You could make a big bag with some pockets. You could figure out a zipper enclosure rather than drawstring. I just prefer the drawstring for knitting projects. 
your yarn doesn't get stuck in anything. I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, it's great to kind of get to do this and let you in on a little bit of my day to day and the things that I'm working on and what I'm creating. I really enjoy kind of getting to document what I'm making at the time. It's fun to look back on. Please like this video if you liked it, comment, subscribe, do whatever you would like. <laughs> It's always great to hear from you guys. I really do appreciate your comments. It's just really nice to get to talk to other people in the community who are doing similar things and I love hearing about what you're knitting or what you're creating. It always makes me really excited. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend if it is a holiday weekend in your country. If it's not, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend <laughs> and that you get to enjoy some peace and quiet and time to yourself and indulge a little bit in some crafting or handwork. And I'll see you all in the next one.